everyone on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today, I just felt nostalgic and what better video to reminisce than to go over my favorite animated cartoon TV series shows when I was just a lad back then. Now, back then for me, we didn't have cable for our TV because, you know, poor people. So I wasn't able to watch Cartoon Network at that time. But I guess instead, we did have PBS cartoons for kids such as Arthur or Clifford the Big Red Dog. And I was able to watch Orkids.TV. Anybody remember that? During every Saturday mornings it was the only thing that I was able to watch but it was great and later on when technology and the internet was slowly improving it allowed me to able to have access to every cartoon show that I really wanted to watch before that I wasn't able to before also I see other people making content so I decided I would share some of my favorite cartoon TV series shows that I enjoyed watching from back then and even now such as these so I'm like why not me as well so these are my 10 favorite cartoons that I picked out of all all the cartoons that I've seen over the years. All right, without further ado, let's begin. The first one that I would like to introduce is Codename Kids Next Door. This cartoon is about five 10 year old friends who fight against adults and teenagers. And so they fight for kids' freedom, justice, and safety. In the name of kids everywhere, they're like the Avengers for kids basically, fighting for them and representing kids everywhere around the world. Now, each of the villains' plans and styles may differ, but overall, the premise is that they want to destroy the kids next door organization. Now the villains are adults and teenagers who really don't like kids. They're kind of fed up with them so they just want to either take revenge or teach them a lesson. And I like this cartoon because you have these five friends who really are just like secret agents. They go on missions, they even have their own code names such as number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. And they use gadgets and technology like James Bond. Only in a more kid friendly way of course. Also I grew up watching James Bond so maybe that had an effect on me. Maybe it had effect on me with this cartoon but it is a really great show to watch they fight evil with their inventions and save many kids lives and their happiness with one or more rainbow monkey at a time my second favorite cartoon that I have for you guys on my list is called adventure time this cartoon is about the adventures of a boy named Finn and his magical dog Jake as they fight evil in the land of Ooh, which is the world that they live in fighting several different enemies such as the ice king and sometimes saving princesses like princess bubblegum who rules Candy Kingdom. This cartoon reminds me a little bit about the anime One Piece. The adventure aspects, the character aspects, and a little bit about the world building aspect, which is definitely one of the big reasons why I like this cartoon. And another reason, this might be minor, but there is a unicorn character that could speak Korean. And I was like, that is really cool. And I really understand most of the parts that she says. Of course, there's subtitles, but it's just exciting to see sometimes. Korean words thrown in there in American TV. And I love languages, so it's just awesome. This is definitely a cartoon that I enjoy watching because it has action, fantasy, the characters are fiction, not real, so there is a lot of room for creativity and imagination to flourish. It's the same reason why I like One Piece. And I believe this show is definitely well made. This cartoon can have so much potential and it has a really good execution in character designs, stories, ideas, and even world building. Now my third cartoon on my list is called Courage the Cowardly Dog Show. Now normally for me, I'm not a big fan of horror. However, cartoon horror is fairly less scary. Kind of like Scooby-Doo, but this one I would say has a very eerie feel to it. Especially because of the different creatures animation design. And so basically this cartoon is about a cowardly pink furred beagle named Courage, which is an interesting name to give someone who is basically the opposite. But in any case, who must defend his two elderly owners from bizarre and disturbing paranormal threats. I mean, that explanation is way better than what I would have come up with. I mean, I was gonna say a pink dog protects his two elderly owners from the creatures of nightmare and horror. If you see some of the creatures design, you might feel some chills. I don't know. But despite all that, the pink dog courage, he still takes up courage to save his beloved owners, even though he is scared out of his mind because Muriel, one of the owners, she saved, cared, and rescued courage and took him in. Then there's Eustace, the not so much likable character, but the pink dog got a spine for protecting those who he loves and cherishes. Even though one unconditionally loves him and the other one always calls him a dumb dog But if you watch the show when it comes to common sense horror 101 and because 
because his dog senses are always tingling, the dog makes a lot of smart decisions in order to get out of bad situations. And he is able to escape the grasp of terror from these intruders. Also, they live in the middle of nowhere, which also sounds scary to me for some reason. My number fourth cartoon on this list is called Chaotic. This is based on, or the theme of it is from a card game show. And so you have Tom Majors, who is a teenager that believes Chaotic is just a card game until he is transported into its world. In Chaotic, the players take on the form of the characters they choose to battle in the arena. So what's amazing about this show is that not only is it just a card game, but you also get to be in the world of the card game, which is a very fantastic concept. To me, in my personal opinion, of course. In Chaotic, you can also transport yourself into Param, which is a world that the creature characters live in. And the Chaotic players, each of them have their own scanners. And these scanners that they have can transport them back and forth into Param, Chaotic, and in their real world. Well, in the real world, their thoughts are only transported. And when the players transport to Param, they can scan the creatures and get a card out of it, including the creature's stats, abilities, and much more. The same thing can be said when they scan battle gear, music, and location. I thought the world building of Param and Chaotic is so awesome and amazing. In Param, there are four tribes. You have Overworlders, which are creatures that dwell above the surface mostly. And then you have Underworlders, who are creatures that dwell below the surfaces mostly. Then you have the Mepedians, who are mostly reptile-like creatures that live in desert-like areas mostly. And all of these creatures have the power of invisibility. And lastly, you have the Danians, who are insect-like creatures that live in the anthill. And they all have this unique ability called Hive Ability, which helps each other regain max strength. So all of this is pretty interesting to see. And I like how each characters have their own different favorite tribes, so as to explore different tribe territories and introduce new creatures and have adventures in different locations. It's really a show that you will enjoy watching or it will at least pique your interest. All right, number five on my list is Teen Titans. Now this is a superhero cartoon TV show, which there is a lot already, but I picked this one specifically because I remember long ago when Cartoon Network was not accessible to me at that time, I was able to watch an episode of Teen Titans off of someone else's TV at their house when my parents visited someone and the home order had a kid and he was watching Cartoon Network and Teen Titan was on. And so I was able to watch it, which was great, but it also sounds really sad. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, you know? And I remember it was an episode of when Robin, who was being mentored by the Ancient One. So that was a really fond memory. And to summarize the show, basically, you have these teenagers who are superheroes, with some having abilities to fight crime and to keep the city safe. The characters that you have in this show is Robin, Cyborg, Beast Boy, Starfire, and Raven. I would say Raven at that time was my cartoon crush. Back then, I was just wanted to throw it out there. Also, I would like to mention some other cartoon TV superhero shows that I enjoyed watching as well. They are Static Shock, Batman the Brave and the Bold, Justice League, Young Justice, and many more. And all of these shows is very simple. Basically, it's heroes versus villains. Now, there are a lot of villains that Teen Titans has to face, but I think the main villain in the show is Slade. And so a lot of the times, the Titans will go on missions and help people out and stop criminals from trying to take over the world. It has guaranteed action and comedy. It's going to be just another fun superhero show. The sixth cartoon TV show recommendations that I have on this list is called Total Drama Island. This cartoon is inspired by reality TV shows, how competitors compete in challenges in order to get the ultimate prize, which most of the time is money. And I really enjoy watching these challenges in this show. And the competitors all compete in teams at first. And then later on, when it comes close to the end, they all merge. And so at that point, it's every man or woman for themselves. The challenges are sometimes also brutal. Some are actually beyond brutal. Brutal, but since it's a cartoon, it works, so to speak, but it is very fun to watch sometimes. The comedy in the first season is very funny and hilarious in my personal opinion. And you get to meet a lot of different characters with different attitudes, personalities, styles, and appearances. And also you have your host, Chris McClain, who, let's face it, he's crazy. And then you also have his partner, Chef, who is also sometimes crazy. And in all that I've seen, it just looks like they're both having a great time just torturing the campers, which mostly because it brings up the ratings, I guess. So basically, you're just watching these campers trying to compete their hardest and trying to survive. So that way they won't lose and get kicked out of the island and go to the dock of shame to the boat of Loserville. And it's always unexpected with this show because Chris just sometimes bends the rules a lot. And sometimes he changes them and the reason he gives is because he said so. <laughs> so you just never know what might happen. Also, the character designs for the campers are very unique and interesting. Some of you might connect with some of them. Who knows? The seventh one on this list I have for you guys is Chowder. I like 
chowder simply because it's hilariously dumb. You know that type of comedy where everything and anything that they do doesn't really make any sense? Yeah, that type of humor. And so we have this purple raccoon named Chowder who wants to be a chef. And he is currently an apprentice right now to Monk, who is a chef, but not the greatest chef in the world. But I guess at least he can cook something. And they have their own business with food delivering, who he works along with his wife Truff. And the only one of his employees, his name is Schnitzel. This is a cooking cartoon TV show, but since it's a cartoon, majority of the foods that you see here are not real. They are not the type of ingredients that you and I could find at a regular store. The foods that they have in this cartoon TV show can talk, bite, cry, and sometimes have limbs to fight back. And in the episodes, it's just them in their adventure world of creating their own dishes. Dishes you probably never heard before or never seen in real life. But it's hilarious and a funny show to watch. It's definitely not a show that you would take seriously on. It's just for good laughs and entertainment. The eighth cartoon TV show that I have for you guys is called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This one is a classic, and I'm pretty sure the majority of the male population have seen or have heard in any shape or form of this show. There were shows of this back in the day, and as of right now, it's currently being shown today, but in a different style or animation. Now, the version of this show, or the show that I'm focusing on, is the 2003 TMNT show. This one was the one that I watched a lot. I've seen different versions of these as well. I've seen the old school TMNT from the 1900s, a movie where they went to Japan. I've seen the TMNT of the 2007 one, and I also saw the live action 2014 TMNT, and there are many more that I've seen. And the story is that you have these four turtles who are brothers who got exposed by the ooze, a chemical that made them mutate into giant turtles, along with their master who is a giant rat now. And in order to survive, they decided to all train and become ninjas in order to hide in the shadows, while also protecting the city, while also in hiding in order to be not noticed. So that way they won't be taken away from the government in order to put like experimentations on them. And so you have all five of them living in the sewers. And for the characters, you have Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, and their sensei, Master Splinter. And their mortal enemy is called the Shredder, which this guy also has an army of ninjas at his disposal, trying to plot evil schemes and the turtles are trying to stop him. This cartoon TV show also reminds me kind of like the anime Naruto. I'm sure for the majority of the guys would very much like this show a lot. It has the ninja aspect of it and it also has action and comedy, so who doesn't like that? It's a great show and you're gonna have a good time watching it. The ninth cartoon on my list is called Johnny Test. I really like this show because of the adventures that the characters have on the show. The comedy might not be the best, but it's okay. And also I think the characters' different types of personalities is the reason why it made me stay. Characters and the plot and the story is very simple. They made it easy to understand in what type of direction the story is going to take. So you have this 11 year old boy named Johnny with his best friend who is a talking dog named Dookie. Kind of create havoc in their own city named Borelli by using his two twin genius sisters, Susan's and Mary's inventions without permission. A lot of the time, going through portals and releasing dangerous creatures, and unfortunately blowing stuff up. And the life lessons you have for these stories are basically, you shouldn't be doing that in the first place. There isn't much more to explain, but I think the characters is what holds the show together. There is a rich kid who owns an island and his name is Bling Bling Boy, who is also madly in love with Susan Tess. There's also Gil next door that the twin sisters love so much. And a lot of the sisters' inventions revolves around getting Gil to like them. So Johnny sometimes takes advantage of that fact and tries to sneak away with his own personal selfish gains. And through all that, Johnny creates these villains that he also has to fight against. And so he then asks his sisters to help him out. But then they also try to help each other. Also you have this busy mom and a clean freak dad who only cooks meatloaf for some reason. But I mean, you know, the show is a blast. Now the 10th and last one on my list is called Ben 10. I uh, purposely added it here and I think you know why. So Ben 10, I feel like a lot of people might remember this one. Basically you have this boy named Ben who accidentally found an alien watch, which allows him to transform into 10 different alien species. My favorite alien species out of the 10 is Accelerate by the way. And he found this watch as it crashed down to Earth from space while he was traveling with his grandpa Max and his cousin Gwen in an old looking RV. So this show really focuses on space and aliens. And so if you are interested in this type of stuff, then this show is perfect for you. And I really like this concept of this show because you have a lot of variety. Varieties of different character designs and aliens and their abilities. And the many aliens that he transforms into do look really cool. But throughout the journey of traveling to 
opposite places. The aliens from space come to Earth, creating havoc. And the typical goal that they have in mind is to take over the world. But our hero, Ben, with the watch to transform into any of the 10 aliens, will try his best to stop them. So you will get to see a lot of different designs of alien characters. And there are also going to be a lot of individuals with unique powers such as Kevin Levin. I just like the idea and the imagination of alien tech, alien DNA, such as that. Transformations into different alien characters to fight evil and fight crime, fight the bad guys and win and save the world, or more so the entire universe as we are talking about space. Makes you want to see how long our hero can last. And there is a continuation of this show called Ben 10 Alien Force, which you'll get to see the characters grow up and you also get to see the new aliens that show up on his list as well. There's even also live action movies about Ben 10 that you might want to see, which was pretty good for me because it's always nice to see when they try to bring out our cartoon TV show's memories into real life as much as possible. And if you love Ben 10, you might also like this. But yeah, that was my 10 favorite cartoon TV shows I have for you guys to share. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully it brought back some fond nostalgic memories. But wait! And before I end it though, I would like to quickly mention some extra cartoon TV shows that I have watched so as to add a few more just in case my 10 list was not your style. Now, one of them is called Wings Club. My favorite character from that was Musa, in case you might be wondering. The other one is Sonic X, Kirby right back at ya. And lastly, Viva Piñata. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video, share the video, subscribe, turn that notification on so you don't miss a video, and comment down below which one was your favorite cartoon, do you have your own favorite cartoon, leave a comment down in the description box below, and I'll see you guys next time.